Well, we seem to be filming, but I don't seem to have that up on my computer, so just bear with me a moment. See what I can find. We should be up here somewhere. Facebook has changed the changed my page and um, we've gone over to a new page. I'm not quite sure whether I like it. I'll just have another look, see if I can find myself. That's yes, that's on Mondays. I've got Mondays up there, but that's no good. <laughs> right, oh dear. Right, let's just refresh the page and see if we can't. Ah, oh, there we are. Right, finally, I do apologise for keeping you waiting. I do apologise for keeping you waiting. There we are. We're all set to go now. Well, welcome to Babs's Crafting, Babs's Card Making and Crafting, um, live here. In Dean Tanner, little village in Northamptonshire in the middle of the UK. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and as I said, I think in the post that we're stepping up a card that we did on Monday from this stamp set, Special Someone. Um, and I think I said on Monday that it's, it's kind of not one that I would have gone for. But um, I like the challenge of having the two-step stamping. And I love the squirrels, so I thought we'd give it a go. And this was a card we came up with. Very simple. Stamp, ink and paper. Very simple, but totally adorable. Um, little raccoon and a little mouse and a birthday balloon and happy birthday. And then we did the envelope as well. So that was Monday's card. Oh, and I did the balloons on the inside. That was Monday's card and this one we're stepping up. We've got layers on this one and die cuts and there is quite a lot of die cuts on this this um, card. So I have, I'm afraid, cheated a little bit and I've done a lot of the die cutting um, beforehand. So we have, we're starting off with the very vanilla card um let's get back to the stamp sorry <laughs> i'm getting ahead of myself um yes the stamp set we're using special someone and the dies we are using so let me just give you a glimpse of those dies they there are lots and lots and lots of them obviously they cut out the um little animals but the thing that's not the thing i like about it is that you've got two balloon dies and two heart-shaped balloon dies You've also got two flower dies, so they can the critters can be holding flowers, and one large one. You've got two little bows. You've got like um, a collection of strings for the balloons or flowers, and then you've got a collection of flowers here. You've even got a little speech bubble here. And if you only wanted them to hold one balloon, then you've got that string there with a little bit of um, curly bit on there. So there's loads of dies in that. Um, Oh, and a bit of the grass as well. So that's um, well worth um, looking at if you like your dies and want to cut them out. So this is another stamp set that I've, um, sorry, die set that I've used quite a lot. It is stitched so sweetly. And we're, today we're using these layered dies here. We're using the two largest ones to put on our card. You'll see how that pans out in a minute. So, um, pop that aside. So we're on ven very vanilla cardstock. And like I've said before, this is an A4 sheet cut in half and scored. So 
cut in half at five and seven eighths and scored at four and one eighth and that gives you your um, basic card. So our layers are going to be, so we've got the card this way, we've got one in crumb cake, um, that's the largest one, and then one in very vanilla, that's the smaller one. But before we layer those up, we're going to do a little bit of stamping. And I've just noticed I haven't got the um, stamp that we're using on my block. So just bear with me a moment to get that out. And this is the large flower with the stalk, as I showed you a moment ago. And we're going to aim to get the flowers all on the outside. So when we put the layer on, you'll just see the flowers and hardly any of the stalks. That's the idea anyway. So we're going for crumb cake, seeing the um, layer is in crumb cake. So these are photopolymer. Um, sorry, wobbling you around. Just hit the camera there. I do apologise. Um, these are photopolymer stamps, so you will need a cushion. Um, well, of course, you don't have to, but it's advisable to because it just gives that extra um, little comfort for the stamp. And it, it makes the stamp print um, clear, clearer as well. So here we go. So we'll start off. I want to hold fold that down because I'm going to stamp some of them off and I don't want them on the back of the card. So here we go. Just taking them round and I will change it up so you have some coming down and some going up. Most of these strings will be hidden by the layer that we're going to put on. So don't worry too much about that, except when you do that. <laughs> that was a bit of a silly mistake. Yes, you do have to watch where your stems are going when you're doing the top. I had completely forgotten about that. So, so let's be a bit more careful with this one. We'll put one right in the middle. And then we'll take those stem, stems a little way further away so they, they don't get um, they don't get in the way. And we'll take that one down there. Nearly finished. And you can see I'm getting ink on the edge of the um, block there. That's um, not something you should do, really. Because if you rock your stamp, then um, you could end up having ink all over your lovely card. So there we go. So that's all round. Let's take the um, layer and just have a look. Yep, that's fine. It's only that little one. Oh, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to look a lot worse than that, but that's not too bad. So, let's close that one up for a moment and clean my stamp. I'll stamp that off. Got my chamois here. I like to try and get as much ink off of the stamp before it goes on the chamois because it just saves the um, save the stain on the chamois. I mean, that's what it's there for. Don't get me wrong. But um, it's um, I find it a, a, a little bit easier to deal with if your stamp isn't if your stamps aren't so dirty. Right, so that's that. We'll put that aside for a moment. We've got a little bit more stamping to do. Um, 
as I said, I have done a lot of the die cutting. Um, so we've got our little squirrel and we've got a little mouse and we've got our raccoon. They're the three critters. Um, and the other um, die cuts I've done, I've done three little balloons and I've done that collection of stems, um, strings I mean, to hold the balloons and I've also cut out this tiny wee little um, bow in a little bit of um, bronze cardstock. And the other thing I've done is a little bit as the single tiny flower. So they're the, all, all the die cuts I've done. So we'll just put those all to one side. But I will go through um, some of them for you. I will go through the animals with you um, because they are it's a little spare piece of card. They are what we call um, two-step stamping. So if I show you the raccoon, we've got the base solid raccoon and then we've got one with the fur on and the detail. And I, When I stamped this the other day, I found out that I'd got a hair on and it went right across where his hands were. And I thought I'd got the hair out, but now we've got a little spot of something or other. Yep, that looks good to me. So let's, um, let's do that. Now there's lots of colour ways for these um, animals. But I've had a play with the stamp set and this with the ink pads and the stamp set. And this is one that I have come up with. For the raccoon, I've got grey granite and memento black. So let's do that. So the solid... solid image is in the lighter colour so that's going for grey granite hmm. that's odd why are you not stamping up right let's have a go at this one then I don't know whether you can I'm hoping you can see that and I said, I think on Monday, that you have to have the raccoon a little bit higher than what you want to place him because he's got feet on the um, other stamp. So if you stamped him right where you wanted to, when you come and put the other one down, you can see he's got feet, so it's going to be a centimetre or so longer so that's the grey granite and this is the memento black so let's ink that one up that's the top and um, to make it a little bit easier I was focusing on the eyes and the face rather than anything else and when you get the stamp near to what you've already stamped you can clearly see where the eyes are so it's quite a good one that one I'm just leaving it there for a second for that ink to adhere and there we go he's a pretty neat raccoon so let's we finish with those so let's clean those off I haven't put the links up for these for this stamp set um, yet, but I will do that when I post the um, finished card. I'll put them all together. So that's the raccoon, and we will die cut him out. 
and then we've got the squirrel which is crumb cake and soft suede so let's put the memento black out of the way and the first is crumb cake so let's stamp him down there we are so that's the squirrel crumb cake and then come in with this one for soft suede it's a slightly darker brown and it does have a tinge to it now this one when I was doing it I focused on the tail and then when I got the tail in I just made sure that the ears were there as well and then just straight down again there we are it's another little nice little critter that's very Americanized, isn't it, Krita? Nice little animal. <laughs> and then now we've got the little mice, which is crumb cake and memento black. So it's crumb cake for the solid. Let's put him down. And then memento black for the body and for this one again I focused on the tail trying to get the tail into trying to get the tail aligned and then when I got the tail aligned just checking on the ears to make sure you you can get the ears round and in place let's try again keep wobbling that one there we go it's a lovely stamp set but it does need a little bit of practice you know it's all good they all come out in the end <laughs> and it's very forgiving it's um you can, if you've got um, some little, if you've got some felt tips or anything, if you're way off, then you can just go in and, and colour the edge. It's, it is quite forgiving. It's not, um, it's not too difficult. Anyway, there's my little three animals and I, um, I will die cut those. And then, I, as I said, I've got those all, all ready, just showing you the technique and how I came to... Um, stamp them and then of course we've got this little extra flower to stamp as well um, so that was stamped and die cut as well so let's go back to the card and start putting it together so this is our card here <clears throat> get rid of this now don't want the ink um, smudging the card so here's the layers that we I I cut earlier so then we want to put a little bit of glue all around and then just centralize that on your card like that and then this one goes oh no there's a little bit little bit I need to do on that before we put that on what I was going to do with this was when I put the animals on here they didn't seem to have any sort of tie to the card they just seemed as if they were sort of just placed on the card there was sort of nothing to sort of indicate why they should be standing there so the other thing I thought about was taking a 
um, right marker and just making a little bit of grass. So all I'm going to take, do is to take the fat end of the right marker and just do a few little squiggles, not um, filling it in or not colouring it in a full colour, but just a little bit of a squiggle. So you've got some light and dark and that's all I was going to do. And then I thought, well, if I put those on top, then that's going to look a bit weird as well. So I just did, again, just a little bit of colouring just around their feet. So they, they do look like they're um, standing on grass. So it looks like the colour uh, is coming through. So that looks a lot better, I think. So do the squirrel as well, so just adding a little bit. Again, not colouring in it, not colouring it in totally, but just giving the um, idea that they're actually standing on the grass. So that was that done. And the other little thing I did was to fill in the uh, flower. The stamp for this flower is an um, outline stamp and I've got, they do have a um, fill-in but it was like a solid fill-in um, and I wanted it to be a bit lighter. So um, I just stroked the um, colour in the leaves. It has actually filled in now because I I did it so much that it actually did fill in um, but that that wasn't my intention but it still looks really good and sitting here looking at it I'm just going to put a little yellow dot in the middle there we go there we are just did did that just now so there we go so I had got the raccoon sort of standing about here and we're giving our little mouse his birthday present so he's going to be down there and he's kind of looking up at the raccoon and then we're going to bring the squirrel in just a little way further up and then the mouse could be looking at the squirrel and the raccoon and then we're going to bring in the streams for the balloons. So there's the raccoon's hand, so we'll just put that in there. Just fold it down a little bit and then attach the balloons on here like this. And of course you're not going to get them all so you see all of them. So something like that. he'll go behind the squirrel's ear because the squirrel's going to be up on dimensionals with the mouse but the raccoon's going to be lying flat and the other thing I found was um, I tried to assemble all of this first with the strings and the bow and then attached the balloons on dimensionals but it looked as if the strings were like not attached to the balloons. So this time I'm going to assemble it all together and then put it on the card. So let's put our little raccoon in. So the raccoon's going flat. I mean, you could you could just stamp the raccoon on the card. There's nothing stopping you doing that. But I wanted them all die cut so I could play around with them and to try and find the best set, best way round to do it for me. So um, that's why I I um, had done that and not adhered it to the card. But yeah, you know, your card is your card and you can um, 
design it how you like. These are just ideas and, and what I've done. So for this one, we want the tiniest um, bit of glue. And I'm just going to use this one for that. Tiniest little dot of glue. And I think that's probably too much. But I'm just going to take a little bit off of that. There we go. So that's going to go sort of on there. And I want that out of his face so you can actually see his face. And then that's going to go on there. I'll stick that on there. And then I'm going to put a glue dot behind that to raise it up just a little bit. So this is going to have to be rolled because these glue dots are... quite a size you don't want that getting stuck to your card so I'm rolling it if you can see that and then placing it on the back of the string Just hold it there for a minute while the glue adheres to the um, bow and then all this will be fine. And then what I want to do is to attach the uh, balloons before I do anything else. Really, I shouldn't have put that. I wonder if I can get that off. I should have put the balloons on first, really. I really want the balloons on first getting a bit carried away there no I can't right let's leave that on there and I'll bring in my craft mat because nothing sticks to that craft mat so oh oh we don't want that happening either oh it's because I've moved it oh right okay let's spread it out again it's because I moved the glue dot wasn't it and it's trying to it's trying to get back to a circle again There's our craft mat. So let's stick him on there and then he'll be all right there for a minute while we do the balloons. There we go. So the balloons are going to go up on dimensionals. So we want the large dimensional, just one in the middle, I think. We can get away with doing a little one. Put the dimensionals on the back. And then to attach them to this, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue on here. I'm not going to put them right at the top of the string because you have the edge of the card. And if you have a look at that, put him in there and then you've got the strings up here. You don't want the balloons going right off the edge. So I've got to decide which ones I want up the top. So let's have the green one up the top. And so this one can go off. Oh, yeah, if I'd thought... I could have brought that die right down there and caught that in. Oh, you, I am silly. Right, okay. Right. Try that a different way. We'll put the die. I'm putting the dimensions at the top so this will stick with the string at the bottom. 
so that's one so that's got let's just move that dimension to the top and then we'll have this balloon coming this way and then this one in the middle i'm going to have to put a little bit more glue on that because that has all gone a little bit more glue on there there we are now they are stuck to the balloons now because when i did it before it, it looked like they were just um sort of um flying in the wind so to speak so there we are pop him on there so he's holding the balloons make sure that's going to go on the card yeah just a a little bit there we may be able to play with those when i take the backings off we can just move those over a bit just so that clears the top okay so that should be fine so let's get this back down onto the card and then we can play about with those balloons and get the other animals on the um, animals on the card I'm trying to leave a border all the way around just like we have done before and then we're just gonna turn that over just so we can get to well maybe not then just so we can get to the um, dimensionals so there we are where are we going to put him we can put that one right at the top there and then we'll place this pink one in first and then we'll do the yellow one there we go we'll pull him down a bit and then the green one can come up over the top Take that off. And that one can go in the middle. There we are. Yep, I'm liking that. There's the strings are actually attached to the balloons and it looks you can see that there's space underneath and, and it looks a bit better than what I had done before the one I'd done previously right now let's have the squirrels oh let's put the mouse in first shall we and the mouse is going up on dimensionals there we go so we only want one for him I think or maybe two we'll put one at the top and one at the bottom why not indeed we don't want him falling over do we there we are that's our little mouse And then the squirrels put up on dimensionals as well and he's a bigger bigger character so we can afford to put some bigger dimensionals on there and we'll have a little one for his tail there we are And you just arrange them where you want them. There 
there we go and then we've got this little adorable little flower for the squirrel to give to the mouse on his birthday and then what I've done is I've just put a tiny bit of glue just on that edge to adhere that to the squirrel's hand whoops and now I'm adhered to the I'm stuck to the flower there we go Just place the flower in the squirrel's hand and pop the pop the flower down, and we're almost there. And when I was looking at this, I thought, oh, that's, I've really enjoyed doing that. It's a little bit of um, die cutting and lots of layers and lots of stamping. But then I thought, there's no sentiment on the card, so. Just before we went live, I got the happy birthday stamp that's actually in the um, set. Let's show you. It's this one here, happy birthday. Um, so I got that out and I thought, well, what can I do with that? So all I'm going to do is to stamp the happy birthday up here in the corner. And if it comes out reasonably okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, stamp it off. Clean that one. And then I'm just going to fussy cut it round, I think. Oh, I can't see me scissors. Oh, here they go. <laughs> Couldn't see me scissors there for a minute. So here we go, just cut it out just in a, a rough way and then just, just going around, giving a little swirl on the top. Trying to just make it a little bit interesting. I don't know why I forgot my sentiment when I put the card together, but I did. And sometimes you don't need a sentiment. You just put a sentiment inside. And why restrict it to happy birthday? I know um, a lot of the crafters I talk to, they will design a card and put a card together and leave it in their box until it's time to send it to somebody and that's when they put their sentiment on so you know you can do it always and I was just going I just had the thought of actually just adhering it over the over the balloons just a happy birthday over the balloons but I haven't got that pink balloon quite quite far enough out so um I think it might just have to go over here. So what I'll do um, doesn't won't go quite where I wanted it. What I will do then is just to colour the edge. So I'm just going to get my crumb cake ink right marker out and just do the edge. So it gives it a little bit of colour just on that edge. So that's the wide end and all I do is just give it one or two goes round just oops just so it just gives it that little bit of colour
There we go. There we are. And I'll just pop that one on the side there. There's a couple of dimensionals, the little ones. Just have one on whoops. One on one side. One on the other. And we'll pop one in the middle. Happy birthday. There. It's quite a little cute card. I like that one. Bow's not quite sitting down, but yeah. Give that a little tweak later on. That should be fine. So there we are. There's our little card. And like before, we had the um, envelope. Um stamped out so all the balloons I know that's um turquoise envelope but that's the one I did when I did the other card so and you have got the green one in there so there we are there's my lovely cards for this week um and as I said on Monday I've got quite an exciting adventure going on at the moment um I'm doing a monthly crafting bag featuring the tasteful textures stamp set and in good taste designer series paper i've got six projects and you'll have enough card and elements uh, card and embellishments in the pack hopefully to make um another six cards on top of that um, so if you're interested in that, please message me um, and I'll add you to, to my list. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you have a lovely day. Watch the temperatures because it is the temperature is soaring out there. Um, so please take your water and take care. Lots of sun cream. But enjoy. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now. Bye.